I'm Lacey. My name is Miami. And we're going to show you guys a couple of things. Um, I'm going to do a ponytail today. I know I'm just a plain ponytail, but I'm going to show you guys how to do a different way to wrap it instead of taking your ponytail and just twisting it up around the hair. We're going to use two bobby pins and the ponytail. So I'm going to take the ponytail holder and one of the bobby pins and I'm just going to slide it up on the bobby the ponytail and take the other bobby pin and we're going to do the same thing on the other side. So you have this. And then we're going to get her hair pulled up where we want it. So I'm a hairstylist here in Athens and Miley's just uh, finishing up her second grade year at Nelsonville. We're about to go crazy with this quarantine so we'll definitely be ready for summer when we can get outside and play and hang out and do something. And We've been spending a little bit of time outside. Yeah. So hopefully the weather warms up and stays nice. Yeah, and we're probably going to be swimming in my mom. Okay, so we're going to take one bobby pin and we're going to slide once one of the bobby pins into the side of where her ponytail is going to be. To where just the ponytail holder and the other bobby pins hang out. And then I'm going to wrap it around. And so I've got just enough room for the other bobby pin to go straight down. So until there's about just enough room for that bobby pin to be straight like that. And then I'm going to just push it down. And you've got a nice tight ponytail that's not going to fall down. It's not going to come loose. Sit back, honey. It's very tight. So that's not going to go anywhere. So it's got a lot of volume as well. But this is great for someone who's got really thick hair. Or if you just have one of those little thin ponytails that don't do the job or if you want a nice ponytail that's got a little bit of volume at the top so it's not just a saggy ponytail but this is not going to go anywhere it's going to stay there all day it's going to stay tight all day all right but i'm going to take it down we're going to show you some flat iron curls i know i have a lot of people that say they can't get their hair to curl with their flat iron. So I'm just gonna show you how to get that nice kind of beachy wave with a flat iron. I'm not gonna section the hair because I don't want a lot of volume this way. So if I section the hair and curl it in little sections, I'm gonna get a little more volume. But we just want that kind of beachy wave texture so I'm not going to section the hair into smaller sections. If you were going to section it, um, I would only section it in two. I would do like from the ear down. And then from the top of the ear up. And then clip that up out of the way. So what you're going to do is you're going to start on one side. I'm going to go away from her face. I don't want it curled towards her face. So I'm going to take not two small sections, um, but I'm not going to take a huge piece either. Like I want it to fit nice and I want my flat iron to be flat. I've got it turned up enough to where you're not going to have to take several passes through the hair. So you're going to take your flat iron. The closer the root you go, the higher up the curl will go. But I'm going to take it and as I pull it down like I'm straightening, I'm going to turn it one whole straight or one whole turn as I'm pulling it down in one nice motion. Don't pull it out.
but it's all one motion so you don't want to stop because it's going to leave a kink in the hair if you do so as you're turning you're pulling at the same time one full turn is all it takes so you're just Pulling it down and turning at the same time and pulling nice and slow. You don't want to pull it too fast. Turning and pulling in one fluid motion. You don't want to stop. It'll leave kinks. You'll get fish hooks. You'll look like little fish hooks. One nice motion as you turn it, one full turn, and then just pull as the hair is still wrapped around the flat iron. One motion, pulling and turning at the same time. You can't use a flat iron to do curls if you have a flat iron that is squared off on the edges it has to be kind of rounded i have a flat iron at work that also has so you have your hot plates and then it also has a plate on each side and it's kind of rounded so you can curl it's called the u styler i think or something um so if you have something like that it does make it a little easier but just a regular flat iron does the job as long as it's rounded on the sides as long as it's not angular or squared off here so i'm just gonna keep don't pull them out don't pull them out let them be just leave them be i'm not gonna pull them out until we're done and then i'm just gonna kind of toss all my fingers through them one full turn This tool can replace a curling wand, a curling iron, and a flat iron. So again, I'll show you what I'm doing on the other side here. So we're just turning it as we pull. Now usually I go away from the face with this kind of style. But that's just preference. So if you want to go towards the face, And you're just going to turn it the other way. You're going to turn it the opposite direction of the way I have been going. Put your head up, babe. I have almost got it all curled here, so just hold tight. So I'm going to go from the other way now because I want to go away from our face. So one turn and then just pull it straight through. Put your head up, honey. One turn as I'm pulling.
make sure you use a heat protectant or some sort of heat spray. Miley had a heat spray in her hair from where we blow dried it. Rule of thumb is three products after shampoo and conditioner. Anything more than three and you're going to start to lose the effectiveness of the products because you're going to have too many products that are trying to do too many different things. So if you use a lot of product, three products is all you need. Put your head up, hurry. Almost done, yeah. I promise. All right, and then once you get, I just curled her whole head with a flat iron in under 15 minutes. So you can see this does not take very long. Don't turn, I need you to stay right here, okay? <laughs> so again, I'm gonna go away from her face. So, let me turn the camera here a little bit. So I'm going to start close to the scalp because I don't want this curl to be just in the ends. Okay, so then after you get it all, hang on, don't mess with it. After you get it all nice and curled, you've got the curls here. I'm going to take a texture builder. The one I like to use is the Matrix Styling Texture Builder. And I'm just going to spray her hair. You don't have to use a, a texturizer or any kind of spray if you don't want to. I like to just because it gives it a little extra volume. And then, hang on, honey, please hang on. She's getting a little antsy with me here. So then I'm just going to take my fingers and kind of gently pull my fingers down through after I spray it. If you're going to use spray, I would do it after. Or spray first and then put the product in it after. Now that's a whole head of nice flat iron curls in under 15 minutes. And then you've got your nice end result.